AMS 2140 Wireless Communication In this tutorial, I will show you how to activate the wireless communications available in the AMS 2140. Please note that these capabilities are only available in firmware versions 1.3.2 or higher. As we review these options, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. Here on the home screen of the AMS 2140, you see two icons indicating the status of the Bluetooth and the wireless connections. Let's take a moment to talk about the wireless icon. It will look one of two ways. If it looks like this, you are trying to connect to a normal network. But if it looks like this, you are trying to connect to an ad hoc network. If the normal network icon is gray, the wireless radio is on, but not connected. If the icon is blue, the radio is on and connected to the network. If it is red, there was an authentication or encryption failure when connecting to the network. If the network is WPA or WPA2 enterprise networks, the credentials failed. Similar is true for the icon indicating an ad hoc network. Gray indicates the radio is on, but not connected. Blue indicates the radio is on and connected and red indicates an authentication or encryption failure. This color scheme is the same for the Bluetooth icon. You must be running AMS Machinery Manager version 5.6 or higher, and the AMS 2140 data transfer configuration must be enabled. Now let's look at the configuration necessary on the analyzer itself. Starting from the home screen, select F5 Communication Setup. Next, select F1 Set Connect Port and choose Wireless from the drop-down menu. Press Enter to continue. Select F8 for Wireless Setup and select the network you would like to use. Select F7 to connect and enter the security key or password for that network and press Enter. If you successfully connect, you will see the blue wireless icon displayed. Press Back and from here, Select F4 Wireless Network Setup to configure the network settings. Select DHCP Enabled for default and recommended, or disable DHCP and enter the network information manually. Select Enter. Select F6 Set Host Info, then F4 Set Host Name. Select F5 Set IP Address and F6 Set Host Port to change. Otherwise, press Enter to accept the default information. Now we are back at the communication setup screen, but the host information is complete. Press Enter and the analyzer will ask for a reboot. Rebooting will bring you back to the home screen. Shortly after, you should see the wireless icon turn blue and you are connected to the wireless network. Now let's look at how to communicate across the network. In this example, we will work from route mode but the steps are the same when working in job mode. Select F8 to enter route mode, then select F7 connect for transfer. From here, select F7 load route, then select F3 edit user and enter the username you have already configured in the AMS software. For our tutorial, we will use U1. Select F4 Edit Password to enter the password from the AMS software. If no password is used in the software, you can leave this item blank. To avoid repeating these steps each time you use the analyzer, you can use F12 Store Login and set a four-digit PIN. For now, we will use the PIN APDS and press Enter. Now communication is fully established and you can use either the name and password or the PIN for future access. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com slash AMS 2140. Thank you for watching.